Well, the opposition leader will write to the Electoral Commission this afternoon amid controversy over whether ticks or crosses will be considered valid at the voice referendum. The AEC revealed to Sky News yesterday that ticking the box on the ballot paper rather than writing yes as voters are instructed could still count as a yes vote, but crosses won't be counted as no votes. Peter Dutton says the decision will favour the yes campaign. Uh, I, I think it's completely outrageous, to be honest. Uh, I mean, if if a tick counts for yes, then a cross should count for no. It's as clear as that. Otherwise, it gives a very, very strong advantage to the yes case. And uh, look, I just think Australians want a fair vote. They want to be informed. Uh, they want to have the detail before them. Uh, but the Prime Minister, right from the start, has, you know, I think tried to rig this thing, not providing the detail, just getting it through on the vibe. The Electoral Commission confirmed that while not all ticks will be accepted, all crosses will be deemed informal, so no voters must write no to be sure their vote is valid. Ultimately, the Commission says it will be up to the divisional returning officer at each ballot place to decide if a tick has made a voter's intentions clear. Does that effectively correct, inflate the, the, the yes side? The no side might say, well, hang on, you're, it's a lower bar for the yes side? No, not at all, and they couldn't be taken that way. But that's why we're spending uh, a lot of time talking to the community about what constitutes a valid vote. Uh, there'll be very clear information on the ballot paper in the polling place. We're spending a lot of time on that issue. Uh, and what we're trying to do is to make sure, under the legislation, that when the voters' intent is clear, that those votes are included.